This is the word of the Lord that came to Jeremiah concerning the drought. Judah mourns, her cities languish. They wail for the land, and a cry goes up from Jerusalem. The nobles send their servants for water. They go to the cistern but find no water. They return with their jars unfilled, dismayed and despairing. They cover their heads. The ground is cracked because there is no rain in the land. The farmers are dismayed and cover their heads. Even the doe in the field deserts her newborn fawn because there is no grass. Wild donkeys stand on the barren heights and pant like jackals. Their eyes fail for lack of food. Although our sins testify against us, do something, Lord, for the sake of your name. For we have often rebelled, we have sinned against you. You who are the hope of Israel, its savior in times of distress, why are you like a stranger in the land, like a traveler who stays only a night? Why are you like a man taken by surprise, like a warrior powerless to save? You are among us, Lord, and we bear your name. Do not forsake us. This is what the Lord says about his people. They greatly love to wander. They do not restrain their feet. So the Lord does not accept them. He will now remember their wickedness and punish them for their sins. Then the Lord said to me, Do not pray for the well-being of this people. Although they fast, I will not listen for their cry. Though they offer burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them. Instead, I will destroy them with a sword, famine, and plague. But I said, Alas, sovereign Lord, the prophets keep telling them, You will not see the sword or suffer famine. Indeed, I will give you lasting peace in this place. Then the Lord said to me, The prophets are prophesying lies in my name. I have not sent them, or appointed them, or spoken to them. They are prophesying to you false visions, divinations, idolatries, and the delusions of their own minds. Therefore this is what the Lord says about the prophets who are prophesying in my name. I did not send them, yet they are saying, No sword or famine will touch this land. Those same prophets will perish by sword and famine, and the people they are prophesying to will be thrown out into the streets of Jerusalem because of the famine and sword. There will be no one to bury them, their wives, their sons and their daughters. I will pour out on them the calamity they deserve. Speak this word to them. Let my eyes overflow with tears, night and day without ceasing. For the virgin daughter my people has suffered a grievous wound, a crushing blow. If I go into the country, I see those slain by the sword. If I go into the city, I see the ravages of famine. Both prophet and priest have gone to a land they know not. Have you rejected Judah completely? Do you despise Zion? Why have you afflicted us, so that we cannot be healed? We hoped for peace, but no good has come. For a time of healing, but there is only terror. We acknowledge our wickedness, Lord, and the guilt of our ancestors. We have indeed sinned against you. For the sake of your name, do not despise us. Do not dishonor your glorious throne. Remember your covenant with us, and do not break it. Do any of the worthless idols of the nations bring rain? Do the skies themselves send down showers? No. It is you, Lord our God, therefore our hope is in you, for you are the one who does all this. Then the Lord said to me, Even if Moses and Samuel were to stand before me, my heart would not go out to this people. Send them away from my presence, let them go. And if they ask you, where shall we go? Tell them, this is what the Lord says. Those destined for death to death, those for the sword, to the sword, those for salvation, to salvation, 
those for captivity to captivity. I will send four kinds of destroyers against them, declares the Lord, the sword to kill, and the dogs to drag away, and the birds and the wild animals to devour and destroy. I will make them abhorrent to all the kingdoms of the earth, because of what Manasseh son of Hezekiah king of Judah did in Jerusalem. Who will have pity on you, Jerusalem? Who will mourn for you? Who will stop to ask how you are? You have rejected me, declares the Lord. You keep on backsliding, so I will reach out and destroy you. I am tired of holding back. I will widow them with a winnowing fork at the city gate of the land. I will bring bereavement and destruction on my people, for they have not changed their ways. I will make their widows more numerous than the sand of the sea. At midday I will bring a destroyer against the mothers of their young men. Suddenly I will bring down on them anguish and terror. The mother of seven will grow faint and breathe her last. Her son will set while it is still day. She will be disgraced and humiliated. I will put the survivors to the sword before their enemies, declares the Lord. Alas, my mother, that you give me birth, a man with whom the whole land strives and contends. I have neither lent nor borrowed, yet everyone curses me. The Lord said, Truly I will deliver you for good purpose. Surely I will make your enemies plead with you in times of disaster and times of distress. Can a man break iron, iron from the north, or bronze? Your wealth and treasures I will give as plunder without charge. Because of all your sins to walk your country, I will enslave you to your enemies in a land you do not know. For my anger will kindle a fire that will burn against you. Lord, you understand. Remember me and care for me. Avenge me on my persecutors. You are long-suffering. Do not take me away. Think of how I suffer reproach for your sake. When your words came, I ate them. They were my joy and my heart's delight. For I bear your name, Lord God Almighty. I never sat in the company of revelers, never made merry with them. I sat alone because your hand was on me, and you had filled me with indignation. Why is my pain unending, and my wound grievous and incurable? You are to me like a deceptive book, like a spring that fails. Therefore this is what the Lord says. If you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me. If you utter worthy, not worthless words, you will be my spokesman. Let this people turn to you, but you must not turn to them. I will make you a wall to this people, a fortified wall of bronze. They will fight against you, but will not overcome you, for I am with you, to rescue and save you. Declares the Lord, I will save you from the hands of the wicked, and deliver you from the grasp of the cruel. Cool.